Capellix Nemesis in the European circuit. Meantime, as you can see in the upper right hand corner, Luciana Correa from Brazil versus uh, Takagi Keihan from Japan. Takagi is held in there. Not quite the performance of Akimoto, but he's in the rubber charge. Sure looks feisty and dangerous, doesn't he? How much success did he have at plus 100? It was, it was, it's a junior. Okay. I think. I, I'm, well, it's, it's been a while, but before I go saying something that isn't the case, let's get let's get that record up and have a look at it. He did look a pretty pretty young. I, I think that stat that came up, he looked like he was 19 or 20 years old or something like that. Or in his early 20s at the latest. Well, I remember him as a, as a very successful junior. So far, he hasn't really given and grown many opportunities here. Goes in for the Koshiwaza. Ooh, that was a good look for <laughs> Kroll. Wow, that was a huge Osoto opportunity there. Cho turns in for Sanagi. Looked like he had some Kazushi coming in there, but he couldn't quite finish it. Kroll picks up his second penalty. I see what you're saying. He does have a little bit extra there around. Yeah, the that's middle. what I mean. Yeah, he, he could he go down to 90. He could still lose weight. Wow, he would just be a yeah. monster at yeah. 90. <laughs> oh, good attack by Grohl. Good attack. Nice Ashiwaza there. Good drive. You were asking about the success of Cho Guam at plus 100. Mm -hmm. You take a look in 2011 at the Tokyo Grand Slam, lost in the final to Alexander Michalin. Wow. <laughs> wow, and then he goes down to minus 100. And we're <laughs> saying it in the 90s. And now oh, looking for a wow. place, in, place in the final. He, he epitomizes the toughness of the Korean judo, uh, Korean men in judo. I that think that's real cojones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at him. I think his height would really suit him well at 90. Yeah. Uh, he would be a crusher at 90. Sti he'd, he'd still be great. And he's got the, he's got the, um, he's got the room for it. Yeah. 
nice diplomatic term. He's got the room for it. <laughs> <laughs> and in that Grand Slam, he beat uh, Shinkeyev of Kazakhstan, Suzuki Keiji of Japan, <laughs> Matias Seraj of Slovenia, Tangriev of... <laughs> I mean, the man is... He you know. th yeah, he went through... <laughs> <laughs> well, you can imagine, I mean, this has got to be exhausting for Grohl. Two penalties against the Dutchman. Choguam getting himself ready. He's, he, he looks flabby, doesn't he? Sorry mm. to say it. You know, Choguam looks flabby. And that's having lost the, the, the weight. The only issue with him going out of 90 is whether he has oh, a speed, the speed yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Grohl trying to work him over with the belt. That's had, that's enough. Another penalty. Yeah. Well, well it, wi which way do you want to give it? Yeah. You know, there's a penalty for holding on to the belt for for whatever length of time without an attack. All right, well he's going to get the penalty right here for yeah. a false attack. He gets no, away. He, he gets, gets away, away with that it. one. <laughs> <laughs> I you screwed up in the first no, one. So you win some, you lose some. Yeah. You know. Choguam's going to burn another one. Yeah. He, 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 does, he doesn't mind. And Grohl, this one's gone. Yeah. This is a second.